Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gothic 3, but there is a bit of a problem this time in that I have screwed up. Um, this is post-commentary because I just can't find the audio track, the commentary track that I had for this video. I must have somehow closed Audacity without saving it, and so I just can't find it to recover it or anything. So it's just gone. And... So what I'm left with is just a kind of abridge everything I did in this video, and what it amounts to is I did some odd jobs for the folks around town, the mercenaries and everything. The first person we help out is a, a mercenary named Bradley, who is responsible for the uh, the exchange of slaves, particularly in the. Uh, particularly in the excavation in town, which is just a s small uh, ruined temple, really. So let's go ahead and uh, see what he has uh, what he has for us to do. Ah, a new man. You've come in the nick of time. Long live Okara. Yeah, sure. And your little dog, too. What are you doing here? I'm watching the slaves, but with these crappy conditions, it's no fun, let me tell you. There is always something new. Supply problems, slaves run away, and I don't know what all. Damn it all! I just want some peace. Do you need help? These emaciated figures all look the same to me. I can't make heads or tails of it anymore. You should take a closer look at the boys and tell me who needs to be exchanged. Exchanged? What do you mean? We can't have the poor dogs digging in the temple all the time. They need a break, too. So we exchange the slaves with the farms once a week. The work out there is a bit easier. The boys recover really well. I'll find you a slave. Fine, but don't take too long. What do you think of Merrick? Well, I don't know. I don't have much to do with him. I think he does his job pretty well. So that's what that amounts to. It's uh, pretty simple. We kill a few birds with one stone, though. We uh, take a gamble and use the rebel phrase to see if he's the contact, which he clearly is not because he doesn't. He just thinks we're pulling his leg. And uh, we get an impression of him from Merrick, so we can... Uh, well, in fact, that's not even part of the quest. We just get a small experience reward for that. But now we have the job to go find a, find a couple of slaves that need to be moved out. And it's a simple task, but essentially what this amounts to is we have a few choices. Uh, you can choose to do none, I guess, if you just don't feel like completing the quest. You have to do at least one to complete the quest. You get a bit more of a reward if you do two, though. But if you do two, you are expected to find two to replace them. And that's where it can get a bit more difficult if you don't feel like being a dick. What's a short break worth to you? Oh, man. I'll give you everything I have if you get me out of here. All right. What have you got? I found this artifact here. The strange chalice. I would let you have that. You say you found a chalice? A fire chalice, maybe? What do I know? I don't understand these things, pal. You can take a break. Go to the stockyard. Thanks, friend. I'm already on my way. Wait a moment. You forgot something. Oh, yeah. Here's the chalice I found. Have a nice day, friend. When is the relief finally coming? I'm going crazy here. What will you give me if I get you out of here? But I don't have anything. What could I give you? Tell me something about your overseer, Bradley. Bradley does his own sleazy business here in the camp. Every slave here wants to get out to the farms. Nobody wants to work in here. Bradley has this list. If you're at the top of Bradley's list, you get to go to the farms for a while. That damn swine makes us pay to move to the top of his list. I see. Today is your lucky day. You can go to the stockyard. Thanks, my friend. I couldn't stand it here much longer. And it's quite simple, really. You can try and um, try and shake them down to get a little bonus for yourself, but uh, the second guy doesn't have anything to offer, but he will give you some free dirt on Bradley himself, which we can use for another quest later. You don't have to send him to the stockyard to get that, but you do have to send the first guy to the, the stockyard to get the fire chalice, so keep that in mind. Now we need new workers here in camp in a hurry. 
Go tell Dennis from the stockyard outside the city that he should send me new people. And that is that, so now we have to go find replacements, and what you really have to keep in mind is not to make the mistake I'm about to make. You, uh, the two fellows who you can send back to the stockyard will offer some information for, in exchange for not sending them. And the only way you can get that from one of them is to really go out of your way to reassure him that you will not send him there. And if you send these guys to the stockyard, or to the back to the excavations, without uh, getting the information from them, there's no way to obtain it. And the slave named Kelvin has information which you cannot complete the quest without getting this information. So you really have to make sure that you go through all their dialogue first. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing here, I'm just going back to... I'm going back to try and learn the Fireball spell, which is what I've been working towards this whole time as far as magic goes. And the first thing we need to do is get the Learn Quickly ability. And the only person we know at the moment who can teach us that is the Fire Mage. I can't remember his name, but he's here in Reddick. We'll see him in just a moment. That's who gives us the ancient knowledge and the skill we need to learn the Fireball spell. And from there we need to learn, I think, the Light Spell as a, another final prerequisite, which we have to do at a Shrine to Enos. Teach I want to learn faster. Of course you do. You are an inquisitive man. So, use your time and use your head. It isn't there just to hold up your helmet. Well, that was a uh, very helpful, I suppose. Anyway, so from here we just have to go to a shrine of Enos, which there is one conveniently located in Ardea. And that's where we can learn the spells we need. And I decided, at the same time, just to use the remaining points for some other spells which are quite useful, which would be cure poison, cure disease, and restore health. So, now we have a now we have a handful of spells which will help us in the future, so... Uh, it's, we've got ourselves started down the road of the Magician, which is nice. So from here, all we have to do is go talk to Dennis, the mercenary in charge of the stockyard, in order to find some slaves to replace the workers we sent away from the excavations. Is this your yard? I'm the boss here, if that's what you mean. I see to it that the stockyard works as it should. I'm looking for work. Great. I've got something for you. My people are obviously too stupid to deal with this. Lately, a pack of stray wolves has been roaming the area. They creep up to the yard at night and eat our livestock from right under our noses. I would pay you a good deal if you could make them go away. I will take care of the wolves. One more thing. Those beasts are damn clever. They must be hiding out somewhere when it's light outside. You will hardly catch them out in the open. I would imagine they have a cave somewhere near Montero. They're only wolves. I'll find them. Trust me. I should hope so. Bradley needs new slaves. All right. Just take what you can find here. Tell Bradley he shouldn't work the slaves so hard. I can barely use his people in my yard. So of course Dennis has more work for us. Not that we're really complaining because every little bit of gold and reputation here goes a long way. Especially when I think of the poor beggars down at the excavations. You're needed at the excavations in town. Don't even say that. I can't go. Working at the excavations is the job from hell. You have no idea. Enough said. Off you go to the temple. Yeah, yeah. Now here is where I screwed up. You cannot send Kelvin to the mines without going through all his dialogue first, and the reason for that is because he will give you an important hint to help you out with further quests. And if you don't get that hint, even if you solve the mystery yourself, you cannot complete the quest for some reason, even when you have all the evidence in your hand that you need. As long if you don't have the quest update from Kelvin 
for some reason you just can't complete it, or at least not in my experience. It might have been patched to resolve that issue, but it it never worked for me, and I'm never going to really risk it. So I had to reload and go through all this again because I'm an idiot who forgot to save during this whole uh, last 20 minutes or so. So there's another lesson for you all. Make sure you save early and save often. That rule, which applies to most RPGs, is definitely much more applicable in the gothic games in my experience, because it's very easy to screw up like this. You haven't come to send me back to town, have you? Forget it. I'm staying here on the farm. You're going to work in town again from now on. Oh, no, please. I can't bear the pain of the excavations anymore. Oh, well. Then what can you offer me? I could give you some information that will help you gain favor with the mercenaries. Okay. Tell me what you've got. Listen, then. Not too long ago, Dennis sent some of his people to the grain farm to cause some trouble there. No idea what it was that they did, but I'm sure they were up to no good. What? That was it? I'm sorry. That's all I know. Get moving to the excavations now, or I'll drag you there. All right, all right, I'm going. Working on the farm here. You're don't even working at. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't send you. I could tell you where to find a treasure. Where is this treasure? Oh no, it's not that easy. How do I know you won't send me to work in town anyway if I tell you? So, what do you want? I want you to go to Dennis and tell him that I should stay here. Then I'll let you know where there is some treasure to be had. I will talk to Dennis. All right, I will wait. Yep, so Kelvin just wants us to reassure him by going to talk to Dennis and saying that we're going to leave him here. But we actually don't necessarily need to, even after all of this. I will let the slave Kelvin stay here in the yard. Fine with me. I talked to Dennis. Are you happy now? Fine. Listen up then. Ashton the mercenary lets the other mercenaries fight in his arena in Montero. Everybody knows they're all fighting for gold. Ashton turns the gold into his boss, but I know that most of it ends up in his own pocket. He hides his gold under a bush behind the arena so he won't be found out. How do you know about this thing with Ashton? Once when I was cleaning his rooms, I watched him hide his gold. All right, mate. Now you're going to work in the temple again anyway. Oh, please. You can't mean that. Yes, I can. You're a right bastard, you know. Damn right I am. All that matters is we got the job done. And I'm sorry we had to be a dick just to do it, but hey, everybody's got to pay their dues around here, so get your ass moving, Kelvin. No shenanigans here. The slave Leon is working in the temple again. Good. The slave Kelvin is working in the temple again. Good work. Here's a few coins. Dennis says you shouldn't work the slaves so hard. That smart ass. Let him do this job then. Whatever. Thanks. Here's your reward. Now that I don't get. I don't know why Bradley pays us just to give him some... Uh, just to deliver a complaint from Dennis. It makes no sense to me, but hey. I'm not going to argue with an extra paycheck. So with all of that out of the way, I think it's a good time to report back to Merrick and about just tell him everything we know about the mercenaries at the moment. Dennis is having a running battle at the grain farm. That idiot. I'll have to go out there to put an end to this nonsense. Thanks for the information. Bradley is fleecing the slaves. I know. The slaves will pay gold to get on the rotation list, and Bradley passes this gold on to me. Are you sure that you see all of the gold? No, I'm not. I need to have a look at that list. Ashton is embezzling gold from you for the arena fights. Is he really? How would you know that? I need proof. What about the hut next to your house? That old shack, you mean? You can have it if you like. No one's been living there for ages. 
And so there we have it. On top of a free hunt, we also have a continuation of two of these sort of little side plots, which is um, Bradley and Ashton seem are apparently apparently kind of running a little sideline with uh, under Merrick's nose, keeping some of their keeping some of the funds that they're supposed to turn over to themselves, which now. Uh, Merrick, while he takes our uh, accusations seriously, he still needs us to prove it, so that's what we have to go and do. So here we pick up Bradley's list of slaves that are currently on his rotation, and that's the only way we can obtain the proof. We can't just talk to him and ask for it. I don't know why, I think it would be reasonable, but we have to steal it. This is Bradley's list of slaves. All right. I guess Bradley is cleared then. Here, for your effort. You better take this list back to Bradley right away. Mm. Oh boy. What's the problem? You simply stole it from him, didn't you? <laughs> well, my friend, this is your problem. Yeah, so we have to go and return this list to Bradley, and he's surely not going to be very happy. Now, if you want to do this, you can do it peacefully without causing trouble, but where's the fun in that? Here is your slave list. What? What are you doing digging through my stuff? I ought to skin you alive. Uh, shut up. You don't want it any other way, huh? Come here, boy. Hey, you. What are you doing sticking around? Hey, you. What are you doing sticking around? Uh, uh. That one hit home. Yeah! Uh, uh, uh. All right, well, that's taken care of, so I guess it's time to move on to some other jobs. Let's see who else in town has something for us to do. Greetings, stranger. Why have you come to me? Who are you? My name is Sobata. I have the honorable task of providing for the continued presence of slaves in this city. Do you need help? Help is always necessary for someone like me in this city. As a rule, all the good fighters here are just lapdogs of that Marek. No one has the courage to work on his own initiative. What about you, stranger? What do you need? Despite my razor-sharp attention, Two of my slaves have escaped. I would like to get them back. I assume that they would pose no problem for a strong fighter like you. You need a man with fighting strength to bring back a broken down slave? Well, the case is somewhat more complex. Marek just grabbed a slave right out from under my nose and gave him to one of his people. I knew there was a catch. The fellow who owns my slave now is called Dan. He is a gladiator in the arena. I see. Tell me more about your lost slaves. One of my slaves now works for the Orcsmith Thoric. Marek assigned him to the Fat Orc for cleaning services. He's my property, and I want him back. Marek isn't exactly your friend. No, not exactly. But as long as the mercenaries outnumber us in this city, you come to terms with it, or you die. So Sobata, one of the resident Hashishin, has a job for us to try and get some of his misappropriated slaves back for him. Um, one of them belongs to a gladiator in the arena who we will be encountering, not in this episode, or at least not in this post con part of it. And... The other one belongs to an orc smith named Thoric, and we will be dealing with him first. If you want to buy weapons or learn smithing from me, you'll have to pay for it, Mora. For some reason, we can't just talk to Thoric and ask to arrange a deal for taking the slave away from him. Uh, I don't know why that is. I think that would be reasonable, and I wish they gave us that option. So there are three ways you can skirt around Thoric and be able to walk off with his slave. The first way you can choose to pay him for it. And of course he will initially be angry at you for stealing from him. And so he will charge you hey, 1,000 gold. Bastard. 
as penance for stealing from him, and he will charge you another hundred to take the slave. If you don't have the money or you don't want to pay it, you can say that you don't have the money. And in that case, he will instead say that you need to work for him. And by working for, for him, he means you need to bring him five pieces of magic ore. This is certainly the most expensive way to go about this. And on top of that, I mean, he doesn't expect it on the spot, but he gives you only two days to do it. And obviously magic ore is quite valuable, and it's also hard to find. So doing it this way is not really ideal, and the problem with this is if you pay him the thousand gold that he asked for, but don't pay him the hundred gold uh, afterwards to take the slave, he will still ask, he will still demand five pieces of ore from you, so you lose a thousand gold on top of that. That's definitely not the way you want to go about doing it. Now the third way I initially thought was the most difficult because in the unpatched version of the game, uh, you could actually fight Thoric without anyone else getting involved, without getting in trouble. You could knock him down and then walk away with a slave and no one would ever bother you about it again. In later patch versions of the game, uh, the two orcs inside of Thor's smithy would actually get involved in a fight after you knock Thor down. While you don't get in trouble otherwise for knocking down Thor, you will get in trouble for starting a fight with these guys. And uh, if anyone else sees you fighting these guys, they'll get involved in a fight and you'll have a royal shitstorm on your hands. However, when I did it this time, surprisingly, those two actually did not get involved, and I'm not sure why. I'm pretty sure they were aware that I was fighting Thoric, but they did not seem... Maybe they just didn't see me knock them down, or maybe they just... Maybe in this patch, they s no longer care if you knock down Thoric. And so they will actually not get involved when you fight Thoric, and you can just walk away just like you used to. I don't know if this was just a fluke thing for me, though, because... I haven't tried to replicate it, but in my experience, all the past times I've attempted to fight Thoric for the slave, these two have always gotten angry and have always fought me, so I don't know if maybe I just... Maybe they just didn't notice me knocking them down. But you can try it for yourselves. If it doesn't work and you still really don't want to pay him the 1100 gold, then if you feel like going out of your way, you can get just get Thoric angry at you and then lead him, lure him outside of the city gates and fight him where no one can see you, and that way you can knock him down, no one will no one will notice, and you can just get away with it from there. It's just kind of tedious, and that's why I don't usually do it. Anyway, so that's that. We now have Thoric's slave, and we can return him to Sobata for a decent reward. If you choose to pay for the slave, of course, this thousand gold that you get from Sobata will not cover everything you had to pay for to get the slave, so you short yourself... 100 gold in the end, but you do get the experience for completing the quest and the reputation bonus, so there's that. But otherwise, it's uh, you just miss out on a decent reward this way. Now, one of the things we pick up from Thoric is a note or a diary entry talking about a special armor blueprint that he has, and I'm not really, I don't really remember how to obtain it. He might have it in his store inventory, but it's a it's pretty much just a modified version of a knight armor that we can get excuse me that we can get elsewhere and this armor is of course added by the content mod as you can probably tell by the uh, not so great English in the note that we read there and it's quite you have to go kind of out of your way to get it you have to make it yourself and some of the Items that you need to get it are pretty hard to find, and namely the Orcish Coat of Arms, which as far as I know you can only get in the castle in Faring, which is going to be a while before we get there. Now the last thing we're going to do today is talk to Sanford here, who is the warehouse master here in uh, Montera, and he has a couple quests, uh, a couple fetch and carry quests for us to do, which are obviously a bit more tedious than they need to be, but he also is a very important character for other reasons, so let's have a chat with him. A new delivery? Put it with the others. Are you the warehouse keeper? Stupid question. You can see that. It's no bed of roses, let me tell you. When everything is running smoothly, nobody's interested in what I do all day. But if anything is missing, they all panic right away. 
Do you need anything? I need 15 sacks of wheat from the grain farm to the north, and I need them fast. What do you think will happen here if the others don't get any more bread? What else are you missing? You won't believe it, but I still need five milk barrels from the stockyard in the west. Really? Well, like I said, the job is no bed of roses. Any other belly aches? I think that is all I need in the way of goods for now. Well, that's a comfort. Why don't you go and get the crap yourself? You have to help us out a bit. Who says I want to? You'll do the right thing. I'm sure of it. What do you think of your leader, Merrick? Merrick is an orc lover. He was already working with him during the war. He's such a toady. Always sucking up to Varric, the leader of the orcs. His leadership qualities leave something to be desired. Everybody here is out for himself and has skeletons in his closet. I don't particularly like Merrick. He's a self-righteous asshole. Long live Okara. You bastard. Where did you pick that up? Talk! I'm working with the rebels. How did you know I wouldn't kill you right away if you told me the password? I didn't know that. You sure are lucky, pal. I am the rebel contact here in Montera. Tell me more about Okara. Okara is the central rebel camp in the Midlands. I absolutely have to make contact with Roland, the leader of Okara. Unfortunately, I can't leave here, but you can. Can you take a message to Roland? Give me the message. I'll take it to Okara. Good. Here it is. But don't get caught with it, alright? When will you rebels strike? That depends on what you have to tell me. Why me? I've seen a lot of men, but no one I would trust to lead a revolution. You've got the right stuff. Unfortunately, you're working for the wrong side. What do I have to do so that you will free Montero with me? In my position as warehouse keeper, I never even get inside the castle. If you should manage to completely infiltrate the orcs, we can talk about this some more. Worm your way into the orcs' confidence until they admit you to Varric, the orc leader. Only if we can get to their leader do we have a chance of winning the battle for Montera. I see. Do you also sell your wares? Sure. You only need to ask. Show me your goods. And that, my friends, is that. So we have learned quite a few things from Sanford himself. He is the rebel contact in the city, and so he is our biggest help here. But we have to help him first before he can help us start any sort of revolution here. Which obviously is something well into the future, but for the moment, his only uh, concern is having somebody able to reach the commander, which obviously would be us, so he's telling us our main objective should be to get acquaint well acquainted with the orcs to the point that they allow us into the castle so we can strike the first blow at the commander himself with the intention of starting the revolution that way and crippling the orcish leadership right from the start. And ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today. I'm actually, because this video turned out longer than I expected it to be, I'm just going to leave it at this this is hopefully the only post-commentary video I'll have to do for this. I prefer to do live commentary for a number of reasons. But we're just going to leave it at this today. And uh, I'll try to record more Gothic 3 as soon as I possibly can. So until then, I hope you all have a nice day.